In this video, I'm going to talk about a liquid programming language. Now, what is liquid? Liquid is an open source template based language. Uh, it's a language used to render content into power pages. Now, why do we use liquid is uh, in power pages, you can build a website, you can customize the pages, the contents, but sometimes you may need to go beyond that. You may need to uh, write some server side logic through which you can fetch the information from the backend database. Now, this can on, only be accomplished by uh, doing some uh, programmatic code. Uh, now, that can be done using the Liquid programming language. Uh, Liquid creates a bridge between HTML and data store. It is used to add dynamic content into the pages. This language was created by Shopify. It was used heavily by Shopify. Uh, and it's, a, it's the same programming language which is now used to render content to Power Pages site. It runs on the server and it gets executed before the client side code, be it an HTML, jQuery, JS. Uh, it's a server side language. We can't directly uh, debug the liquid code uh, directly as of now, but there are ways through which you can debug the liquid code by writing some logging logics. Why liquid? Liquid will be used to uh, work with the sensitive data. Uh, it, it is a direct uh, interface point to interact with the database, backend database. Uh, it can access data from portal components like settings, content, snippets, etc. Uh, we can get some information like a logged in user information. We can get a request object. We can get a, a roles, permissions, title of the web page. We can also write a loop in logic by using, uh, say, maybe an if statement. Uh, basically, it's all the logic code gets executed at a server side. Uh, there are some uh, performance consideration we need to take into uh, context while rendering the context contents for the website. Now, where it can be written, the liquid can be written in a web template. It can be written in a web page. It can be written in a basic form, advanced form, a list, content snippets, and there are many other places where you can write liquid code. What actions can be performed? Uh, the CRUD operations within the database can be accomplished using this liquid language. So we can do a create, a read, an update, and a delete operations on database uh, to and fro using the liquid template code. Uh, we can access portal components like site settings, site markers, like the reusable components. We can use the content snippets. We can use web links. So all these things can be accomplished using the liquid code. We can get contextual data, like who is logged into the system. What are those user details, like the first name, last name, full name uh, of that particular logged in user, if, if you are using a uh, logged in based uh, portal. Uh, we can use this as a web API to fetch query from the backend system. We can connect to a Power BI uh, uh, interface as well. Uh, we can even write a fetch XML query and get it executed at the server side. So this is basically a pretty handy uh, tool to uh, uh, execute uh, server side information. Uh, we can design custom page and we can display dynamic contents. Now, what are the different liquid objects we can use as like, we can, there's something called as entities, now, page, params, setting, sitemap, event, categories, articles. Uh, th there are many uh, liquid objects which we can use to uh, render content to the web page. Uh, I will cover all this uh, in my upcoming videos, but let me just quickly give you a, a hands-on X, uh, demo uh, to the now let me give you a hands-on uh, demo on uh, how to use a liquid code now this is my power page site giri neon and i have opened it in edit mode now this is the page what i have let me preview this page and the page will be rendered with a blank content or, or the content with just text and 
three uh, separators. Now, in order to write liquid code, what you need to do is you need to click on edit code. So it will open the Visual Studio code interface in the browser and you can start writing your liquid code. It is uh, always wise to uh, use your own separate HTML uh, to write your liquid code. So I will make use of a div tag. So I have a div tag and I'll write all my code over here. Okay. So this is my code. Okay. And I'll just save this. I'll do a control S. I do control S, this circle disappears. And now my code is all stored. I can sync the changes. And once the syncing uh, is finished, uh, my text will get rendered onto the page. So let me refresh this page. And once I refresh my page, I can see the text which I have written. Now, this is not a liquid code. This is just text. Now, let me uh, again make use of a div tag and write a liquid code. Now, the liquid code are always written within a parenthesis. So I have this one parenthesis and the second parenthesis. So we have this uh, two parentheses opening and closing and I'll write a liquid code. Now the first liquid code which I'm going to write is now N-O-W. Okay. Now let's see what happens with this liquid code. I just save it again, save it completely, sync this configuration. And after a moment, just refresh this page. Now the nov object renders the date and time date and current time of the uh, location where this website is hosted. So here it's 5.22 p.m. on 26th of the 6th. Okay. Now, what are the other code we can write? Okay. Now, I can get, uh, I'll just put this parenthesis and the next step is to write something. Okay. Now, let me put a VR tag so that I get a break the previous text and here i'll write the code as page.title if i want to know what is the title of this page okay so it is written as page.title okay and i just save this okay again save it let it save completely then sync it sync the configuration and once this configuration is synced, you will see uh, the title of the page. Now, the title of the page is 26 June page. So ideally, it should display that content. So I'll refresh my code and it will give me the title of the page. Now, similarly, we can write a lot of many things. I will not go into each and every stuff, but uh, I'll just show you one quick thing about the logged in user details. So in this website, I have logged in using my account. Okay. So I've authenticated myself. Okay. Now, as I've authenticated, I can make use of the object called as a uh, user object. So I'll just say user dot full name. Okay. Alternatively, I can use user dot first name, user dot last name. Okay. Mr. Can write. Uh, so I'll just copy this PR object. Okay, and. I will write use it dot first name and I'll write use it dot last name. Okay, so I'll just save this code and I'll sync the configuration and once I sync the configuration. I refresh this page and I should get the full name which is Girish Upal, the first name which is Girish and the last name which is Upal. So that's how you write a liquid code uh, within your uh, page uh, using uh, Visual Studio code. Okay, so that's it folks. Uh, I'll try to cover more advanced topic uh, 
around the liquid objects uh, in my upcoming videos so i'll try to cover the request object i'll try to cover the interface with power bi i'll try to cover uh, more uh, looping components uh, which are more frequently used in uh, power pages liquid code and also try to use the native component like the snippets the content snippet the web link uh, uh, all those uh, power portal or power pages based objects within the liquid code so thanks for watching